Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Sa video lesson na ito ay i-discuss ko sa inyo ang inyong learning task number 4, solving equations transformable to quadratic equations pa rin na word problems. Reminder, iibahan ko yung ibang given dito upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo. Okay? So, dito sa learning task number 4, solve the following problems, show the step-by-step -step process, and write a brief explanation of what you do. Number 1, the width of a bedroom floor is 5 meters less than its length and its area is 84 square meters. Find its dimensions. Paper and pen muna tayo kasi medyo natatagalan ako sa PowerPoint kaya dito na lang para mas mabilis. Ang hahanapin natin is length tsaka width. So, let x equals length. So, ibig sabihin, yung width natin is 5 meters less than its length. So, kapag yung length natin ay x, so that is x minus 5. And then, ang area natin is 84 square meters. Ngayon, the formula of rectangle is length times width. By substitution, ang area is 84 equals, ang length naman natin is x times ang width natin is x minus 5. Then, multiply this, x times x equals x squared, and then x times negative 5 equals negative 5x. Then, kopyahin yung 84. Transpose natin yung positive 84 sa kabila, magiging negative 84. Then, meron na tayong equation na x squared minus 5x minus 84. To solve for x, pwede nyong gamitin yung quadratic formula at pwede ring factoring. So, ang gagamitin kong method is factoring. So, x squared ito, kaya ang factors natin ay x at saka x. And then, negative at negative, ibig sabihin negative at positive. At mas malaki dapat yung negative number. Ano ang factor ni negative 84 na kapag in natin, magiging negative 5? That is, negative 12 at positive 7. Negative 12 times 7 equals negative 84. And negative 12 plus 7 equals negative 5. Equate to 0 using the 0 factor property. So that is x minus 12 equals 0. Transpose negative 12 magiging positive 12. So ito yung x natin. And then ito naman x plus 7 equals 0. Transpose natin yung positive 7 magiging negative 7. Since ang pinag-uusapan dito is dimensions, walang negative na length. Ibig sabihin, i-disregard natin to ang kukunin natin is 12. So, the length is x. So, ang length natin is 12. And then, ang width naman natin, ang width natin is x minus 5. So, 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. So, the length is equal to 12 meters and the width is equal to 7 meters. So, i-check natin kung tama. Ang area natin is 84 square meters. So, dapat length times width equals 84 din. So, area is 84 square meters equals ang length natin is 12 meters times ang width natin is 7 meters. 12 times 7 equals 84 square meters. So, pareho sila, meaning to say, check yung nakuhang dimensions. Number two, a certain pipe can fill up a tank two hours faster than another pipe. It takes four hours for both pipes to fill up the same tank. In how many hours would the first pipe fill up the tank? Okay, identify natin yung mga given. So, inibahan ko yung given dito ha. Yung first pipe daw ay it takes x hours to fill the tank. Yung second pipe naman, ilang, ilang oras daw siya? 
2 hours faster than another pipe. Ibig sabihin, this is x plus 2. Kasi mas mabilis siya ng dalawang oras. It takes 4 hours for both pipes to fill up the same tank. Kapag together sila, ilang oras ang gugugulin nila. So that is 4 hours. Yung first pipe, that is 1 over x. Tapos, i-add natin yung second pipe, that is 1 over x plus 2. D is equal to 1 over 4. Ito yung oras. So, as you can see, pwede natin itong i-transform to quadratic equation. Kasi, transformable quadratic equation ito. So, ano ulit ang gagamitin natin? Find the LCD muna. Ano ang LCD ng x tsaka x plus 2? That is, x times x plus 2. And then, x times x plus 2 divided by x, syempre matatanggal yung x, di ba? Is equal to x plus 2. Times 1 equals x plus 2. Plus, x times x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 equals x. Times 1 equals x. Equals 1 over 4. Combine like terms. So, x plus x equals 2x plus 2 over. Isimplify na natin to. x times x equals x squared. x times positive 2 equals positive 2x equals 1 over 4. Four. Then, ang next na gagawin, cross multiply. So, unahin natin to. x squared plus 2x times 1 equals x squared plus 2x is equal to 4 times 2x plus 2. Alright? So, simplify x squared plus 2x equals 4 times 2x equals 8x. 4 times positive 2 equals positive 8. Then, Kopyahin ito, x squared plus 2x. Transpose natin si positive x, magiging negative 8x. Transpose positive 8, magiging negative 8 is equal to 0. Then, combine like terms. So, x squared plus 2x minus 8x equals negative 6x. So, negative 6x na yan. Minus 8 is equal to 0. So, ito na yung quadratic equation natin. Ngayon, kailangan nating isolve yung value ng x para malaman natin kung ilang oras ba yung gugugulin ng first pipe. So, hindi ito factorable. So, ang gagamitin natin ay quadratic formula. So, ano ulit yung quadratic formula? That is x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c over 2 times A. So, ang A natin dito is positive 1. And ang B natin is negative 6. Ang C natin is negative 8. By substitution, that is equal to negative. Ang B natin is negative 6 plus minus the square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times ang A natin is 1 times ang C natin is negative 8 all over 2 times ang a natin is 1. Then, simplify x equals negative times negative 6 equals positive 6 plus minus the square root of negative 6 squared equals 36. Negative times 4 times 1 equals negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 8 equals positive 32. Then, simplify natin x equals 6 plus minus uh, over 2 times 1 equals 2. Square root of 36 plus 32 is equal to 68. All over 2. Kunin muna natin yung positive. So, that is x sub 1 equals 6 over 2 plus square root of 68 over 2. So, x sub 1 equals 6 over 2 equals 3. Plus, ano ang square root ng 68? So, pwede tayong gumamit ng calculator. Square root of 68 divided by 2 is equal to 4.12. And, 3 plus 4.12 equals 7.12. So, ito yung first root. Ngayon, kunin naman natin yung minus. So, x sub 2 equals 3 minus 4.12 is equal to negative 1.12 
So, hindi natin i-consider yung negative. So, i-disregard natin ito. Ibig sabihin, ang x sub 1 natin is 7.12. Or approximately 7.12. Ang tinatanong dito, in how many hours would the first pipe fill up the tank? So, ibig sabihin, approximately the first pipe can fill up the tank in 7.12 hours. So, this is now the final answer. Para ma-check natin kung tama yung 7.12, i-substitute natin dito sa x. Kailangan, pag in natin itong dalawa, magiging 1 fourth ito. Magiging 1 fourth din yung sum niya. So, 1 over 7.12 plus 1 over 7.12 plus 2 is equal to 1 over 4. So, gamit tayo ng calculator. That is 1 over 7.12 plus 1 over 7.12 plus 2 is equal to 0 0.25. I-convert natin yung 0 0.25 sa fraction. So, 0 0.25 is equal to 1 fourth. So, ibig sabihin, equal sila. So, 1 fourth equals 1 fourth. Meaning to say, tama yung nakuhang value. Alright? So, yun lamang abangan ninyo yung numbers 3 to 4. I-click nyo na lang sa link or sa description below. Okay? Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!